so this uh this grind is gonna be a little different than grinds that we're used to you know because there's only like five so there's this lake there's that lake there's apparently Rhonda's here too and before the stream i went up on the two mountains that kind of look down and i put up a couple tents so we'll be able to have a couple good vantage points uh, I don't have any zones there right now. Apparently they drink there as well. And then it's just here. Just there for Rondas. That's it. So we'll be able to go through the rotations real quick. Just shoot all the males. It's got to be... It's got to be a male. We got a female... Uh, we've actually got a female Rhonda, Melanistic Rhonda, But it's got to be a male for the Grand Slam. And I've got the other three. So we're shooting all the males. But yeah, five lakes. Or, well, I mean, I guess one is like a river, but... A little different than what we're used to. We'll be able to get around, uh... Like, look at all the males here. That we can just farm, you know? It's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be tough to get them all down, but... We can get as many as we can every, every rotation. We should be able to go through our runs really fast. And hopefully this Mela will spawn. At some point. But yeah, I've got one male there, another one there, another one there, another one there. Like, just tons of males over here. It's crazy. <laughs> and then more down there. It's a little far away. I could probably move this closer eventually. But we're definitely going to want to use that. Because we're going to be shooting a bunch. It's a little bit far away right now. Tents on me, so I can't pick it up. But let's see how we can do. See if we can hit a couple of them anyway. Oh gosh, terrible. Warm ups. Warm ups. It's alright, little warm up. I gotta get that tripod closer. Probably drop that. Got that guy. Now, I wonder if I might have a zone over on this side. Let's go see. Let's get situated. Let's get everything settled in here, get all our zones. Let's see if I can smoke that guy. If he stops moving. Or maybe if he... Maybe even if he doesn't, that'll do it. You see the blood there? That was cool. Okay. Are you just grinding for one? I only need one. Because we're making a an all melanistic Grand Slam multi mount. I've got the Besiet, I've got the southeastern Spanish Ibex, I've got the Grados. I just need the melanistic Ronda, but they're quite rare, <laughs> so it could take a while. Can you tell us the story of how you started playing this game and when you became well known? Am I well known at this point? Whoa, another another zone, and they're like all males. Man, this is gonna be a wild grind. Those are like all males over there. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, in 2017, I saw this game randomly on Steam. And I'd always wanted to get into a hunting game, but I never had. Um, and Call of the Wild looked really cool. I'd always loved the idea of hunting games, but I'd never I'd gotten one and gotten into it. Um, my favorite games at the time and still are like open world survival games. So this has like, there's a similarity there, right? Going around, not knowing what to expect, not knowing, kind of paving your own way, right? Non-linear, no story. Uh, so I love the idea of that and finding things that are rare. Always like that sort of thing in games. So I bought Call of the Wild and I loved it and I got really into it. I never, I didn't get serious into it. I just liked going in the first two years that I played. I didn't do any research on like how need zones worked or like, you know, schedules I didn't look at. I would just go in and play and just like, just play like a noob. I did that for like two years off and on. I would play for like a few months and then I wouldn't play for a while. I'd play other games. Like I was really into Rust and Daisy survival games. But um, I also worked a, a job that had me working like 50 hours a week. So I didn't play a ton of games anyway. So I played, yeah, I played off and on until 2020. Um, and then I started getting really into it when COVID kind of happened. And I got laid off work. I had a lot of spare time. 
started playing it quite a bit started rolling around in my head to, to maybe start my youtube channel that i'd wanted to start for like 10 years but always put off and then i i did i decided i would start a youtube channel i didn't know what i was going to focus on i decided it would be either rust i i decided to do gaming because i had the equipment i didn't have stuff to do like irl content i didn't have any camera equipment but i had a crappy microphone uh, I had a crappy webcam, even though, I, although I didn't use that for, right at the start because that was a terrifying thought being on webcam. But I had what I needed. I knew how to screen record. Uh, I had no idea how to do the editing, but I, I knew that I could do that and figure that out. Um, so I decided on, on, on Call of the Wild because I'd, I'd been watching like, you know, DD and like uh, I'd watched Flinter a few times. And every time I watched those videos, I always like I always kind of thought in my back, the back of my mind, like I could I could I think I could do that. Um, and when I played Call of the Wild, I always kind of did the commentating in my head. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll do Call of the Wild. I had no idea how to make thumbnails or anything. Like, just like you guys that, in the streams, when you're like, you know, telling me you want to make a YouTube channel, but you don't know how to start. I was literally in the exact same place. I was, I, I literally knew no more than any of you guys. And uh, I just decided to do it because I had so much spare time. And that was it. I made one video. I actually, the second video I ever made, the one with the, the double level five reindeer, that was recorded like a year before I made my YouTube channel. I just pulled that out of, I had that recorded because I recorded that moment. So that was recorded like long before then. And then I was like, I guess I could use that footage. <laughs> so that was my second video. As far as be becoming well known, I don't know. <laughs> it, the, I didn't think, I never thought that would actually happen. That just kind of happened little by little because I kept going with it and people liked the videos. And I kept learning, getting a little bit better at it. <clears throat> that was a really long explanation. Sorry about that. <laughs> this is going to be tricky. I'm going to try to hit that guy. And then that guy. Dang, that's tough. That's tough. Okay, so... I'm gonna grab tripods for the next run. I hit that one. Oh. Duh. Got the zone. We've got a couple level threes. What's up, Ruben? What's wrong, buddy? Another one here. Let's get this tent down. Do I always claim all my kills when gold grinding? I try to, I try to claim at least ninety percent of them. If I got to run like five, ten minutes to, to pick one up, I, I usually don't do that. That's that's the exception. Is some great ones easier to get than others? No, the spawn rate's the same, but the difficulty of the animals, you know, on the certain maps and stuff, varies wildly. So yes, yeah, some grinds are much easier or harder than others, absolutely. Every great one is its own snowflake. There's some wolves, some hungry wolves, Ibex. It's, it's, you can die quick or you can die slow, it's up to you. Just hold still, this will only take a second. Oh my gosh, I actually got three. <laughs> Let's go. I got a big four. Only went up to 98, actually. It's not huge. 105. Oh my gosh, this herd's even bigger than I thought. Oh, this is my biggest herd. <sighs> now, if I could only just trap them so I could shoot like eight of them. Dude, this herd is wild. Oh my goodness for myself. Shoot a couple of these big fours. How far am I out? 150? Uh, I wish I could get a tripod here. There's no way it's gonna happen. There's no way that's gonna happen. Oh, and I got hunting pressure here. Uh, okay, well I can shoot one and then shoot him up the hill a little bit. Make that make that work without, without wiping it. 50k sub celebration. Oh, we're gonna have to do something. Uh, I think I'm gonna drop new merch at 50k. That's gonna be part of it. Oh man, I'm excited. I'm not thinking too much about it. Yeah, I got you gotta take it one day at a time, you know. But hopefully. Yeah, man, hopefully we just friggin' fly on up there to 50k. That'd be amazing. All right, I'm gonna shoot that four. 
take this very delicately. And then as they spook, I'll start shooting them up the hill if I can. Banga da danga, banga da danga. All right. Gotta let him get out of that hunting pressure a little bit. As a matter of fact, they'll probably start walking back in. No vital? Dang. That's it. I like it when they do that. I like it when they do that. Oh, you stopped and everything. Yeah, baby. Yeah, vital ja. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about it? Okay, there's that one, but there's another one, too. What? Was there a diamond ibex? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Seriously? I didn't even know I shot a diamond potential. <laughs> What? 108? And it was one of the ones that I shot on the run in Vinyl? <gasps> Dang. Okay, well, hey. Well, glad you guys caught that. I didn't even know, I, I didn't really, I didn't even realize I shot a Diamond Potential one. I didn't see that estimate. And more Besites. Guaranteed Diamond Besite Ibex, level four. Guaranteed Diamond level four Ibex. What the heck is that? That's pretty insane. Of all the diamond Ibex I have, and I have a lot, I don't think I've ever seen a guaranteed diamond estimate on a level 4. Okay, well I guess we'll shoot that one and we'll leave these guys for now. I am gonna need a tri- look at these zones. I am gonna need a tripod for this. Because there are tons of males in there. Just make sure there's nothing huge. Doesn't look like it. Settle. Settle down. Huh. That's interesting. Might have gotten along on that second one, it looks like it. I don't know what happened on that first shot. Guaranteed diamond if I didn't mess it up. Let's go see. Non vital organ. Huh, well, you messed it up somehow, but. Oh well. That's highway robbery. Well, we got robbed, but oh well. It's only a diamond to see. I've got. Like 30 of these, but still, uh, guaranteed diamond level 4 was cool. But we got robbed. That was going straight for, I mean, maybe even the heart, but definitely a lung. Scary stuff. Luckily, that's only a diamond besiege, <laughs> not a great one or something. Thought that was weird. Shot felt really good.